Welcome to our lesson about enhancements to the Closed Corner tool in SOLIDWORKS 2010. Let's click on the Corners submenu arrow and select Closed Corner. The first action in the Property Manager is an input area for faces to extend and another input area for faces to match. If Auto Propagation is checked, SOLIDWORKS will select the matching face automatically. If this option is unchecked, you select the matching face manually. And let's right click and delete this face. As you see, the matching faces are selected automatically. If you've worked with the closed corner tool before, you'll be familiar with the corner type options. We've got but, overlap, and underlap. But is when the corner doesn't overlap. We can specify the gap distance with the but option. If we use overlap, we can specify gap distance and the overlap ratio. The ratio 1 refers to a 100% overlap. 0 refers to a 0% overlap, and you can enter any value in between. The underlap option is basically the opposite of the overlap option. Coplanar faces. This option, when checked, prompts SOLIDWORKS to automatically select coplanar faces. Narrow corner. This option uses an algorithm to narrow the gap for large band radii. At this point, I'm going to click OK. Let's check out another example now. Activate the closed corner tool. Uncheck auto propagation. And let's select this face and this face. Now let's select the faces to match, these two faces. For corner type, we'll use the butt type and click OK. And here is our closed corner. Let's try another example. Activate the closed corner tool. Let's uncheck auto propagation. Once again, I select the faces to extend. And then I select the faces to match. Here's our preview. Let's click OK. Let's check a last example. Here we've got a corner with a large band radius. Let's activate the closed corner tool. Once again, uncheck auto propagation. Faces to extend, this one, and faces to match, here. Here's our preview. Let's uncheck narrow corner and then click OK. Notice we've got a gap between the bend region. Let's edit the feature now. Right click, Edit Feature. This time I'm going to check the narrow corner option and click OK. And SOLIDWORKS closes the gap for me. This concludes our lesson about enhancements to the closed corner tool in SOLIDWORKS 2010.